convection, conduction, and hybrid. What are the actual differences between the vaporizers and devices? Well, I've got a few examples right here and we're going to demonstrate and show you exactly the differences between the technologies and how it all works. So let's start with conduction. A lot of budget dryer vaporizers like the G-Pen Dash, the Dynavap, and so forth, they use elements of conduction to pack on their heat. We can use the example of a frying pan to show you exactly how this works. So when you're cooking pancakes on a frying pan, how does the pancake get heated? Obviously, your pancake is on the frying pan and the heat conducts from the frying pan directly onto the pancake. This heats up your pancake and cooks it. We can use the same principle of heating as a frying pan as in a dryer vaporizer. Like with the Dynavap, the internal chamber here will heat up, conducting its heat directly to the herb, which will then vaporize it. Now, what is it about conduction that people don't like? Well, to be frank, the flavor from conduction dryer vaporizers just isn't quite there compared to hybrid and convection units. It often gives a bit of a roastier, heavier flavor, uh, that toasty sourness can occur, and while the first few hits are good, it just doesn't match up to purest standards. Conduction also suffers from one thing, which is efficiency. You know how if you leave food on the pan for too long, it'll start to burn? Same problem with conduction, that if you leave your herb in the chamber and let it cook and let it cook, it'll still be cooking, but you're not actually using it. So it does waste a little bit of your herb. We often see conduction used on budget devices because it's the easiest technology to implement. It's very cost effective and not too difficult to engineer. A fan favorite, the Dynavap, uses conduction frequently and hits like a freight train. Now let's move on to convection. Convection is really loved by purists and flavor chasers all around for a few reasons. Convection more works just kind of like how you can imagine a fan blowing over a turkey in an oven or the ambient heat warming it up. Often convection works like a heating element inside, then the air being brought through the herb, passing through the herb, and that's how it vaporizes the cannabinoids rather than in direct contact. Now, convection has a few drawbacks, and one that it's very, very power hungry. The heating elements in herb vaporizers require a lot of energy to provide convection heat, and therefore battery life will suffer. Generally, with convection dryer vaporizers, there's a learning curve, and you have to be a bit particular about how you grind and pack your load into the chamber. On the other hand, convection benefits from extremely good flavor, very heavy hits and very good efficiency because it does not passively consume your herb even if the heating element is hot. Now, best of both worlds is a hybrid vaporizer. It's not as efficient as convection, however, it hits very well and works really well. We see very high quality units like the Airizer Air 2, the Storz and Bickle Mighty, and a whole other amount of vaporizers use hybrid vapor. So hybrid does cook your herb passively, even if you're not hitting it, but it's not to the same degree as conduction, and the flavor is kind of in between conduction and convection. Now, which do I prefer? Well, I've probably had about 100 different dryer vaporizers tested, and it's kind of hard to choose. If I'm sitting at home, doing nothing, on the couch, watching TV, hanging out, I'm probably gonna choose a convection device just because it doesn't cook your herb passively in between and you get really tasty and nice hits. On the other hand, if I'm just out with friends and chilling at a park and wanna share and don't wanna have to think about draw technique or, or anything, I'll choose a hybrid device because they're the easiest to get results from and consistent. And lastly, if I want to get those thickest, heaviest, milky hits, I'll load up a Dynavap or I'll load up the Utilion 421, I'll set to high temperature, let it heat soak, hit it through a bong, bam, heaviest hits. Anyways, if you're looking for just one dryer vaporizer though, I would recommend a hybrid unit. It has benefits of both with the hit size, the simplicity, the flavor, the battery life. So a hybrid unit's a very good one to start with. So hopefully this video cleared up the differences. If you don't like the video, hit this like button. Elsewise, subscribe because we're really cool. And check out our website for more stuff. Catch you next time and peace.